Yo, it's Elliot with Yo Elliot. You got strength questions, and I got your answers. Yo, Elliot! Well, today we got a question from J Mike Japan. J Mike Japan wants to know Yo, Elliot, I have a new job where my hours change every week and every day, so my body can't adjust. I'm always too tired to train, even though I have the will. How can I adjust so that I have energy to train myself? I want to train badly. Help. Well, J. Mike Japan, very simple answer. Quit your job. All right? If you quit your job, you're going to then be allowed to put your values ahead of survival. And what most people do in our society is they put survival ahead of our values. And when you put your survival ahead of your values, you're nothing more than a fucking animal because your ba all of your activities are based on fear. It's based on, I got to pay bills. I got to put food on the table. I've got to buy new clothes. I've got to keep up with the Joneses. Whatever the case may be, it's, a mo it's motivated by fear. And you're proceeding from your most base emotion. You're, you're, you're like an animal. You're like a dog. You're doing what you have to do to put food in your mouth. When you realize that there is, there's so much more to life, especially if you live based on your values than just survival, everything that you need will be added to you. The trick is to get very, very clear about what your core values are. If strength and training are your core values, what you then do is put that on a pedestal and you build your life around those values. Most people think that I'm lucky because I have a gym and, that, and, and I have a business where I teach people how, get, how to get strong. Well, the reason why I have a gym and I teach people get how to get strong and I make a living doing this is because strength and freedom are my two highest freaking values. I decided upon strength first, strength and freedom first, and then built my life around it. I decided very long ago that if I couldn't support my ability or my desire to, to train and to eat well and to rest and to have enough time for my family, because that's the next of my three values, in no particular order, actually freedom probably comes first. And I'll tell you why you need to choose freedom first. Because when you're free, when you, your time is your most important asset. And when you have your time, you can choose what to do with it, and you're always gonna choose your values first. You're not gonna choose going to work at the accounting office or paving the roads or whatever the hell your job is, slicing meat at the deli. It really doesn't freaking matter. The, and not to insult you, maybe you're a plastic surgeon, I don't know. But the point is that when you're, you're not putting your value of strength, you're not putting your values of freedom, you're not putting your values of family, you're not putting the things that matter most to you first, you're putting your job first. So, like for example, when I was in high school and college, I only chose jobs where there were people that understood what strength and fitness were about. So I'd only work at gyms and I'd work at, uh, at GNC and vitamin shop because everyone there understood like, hey, look, you got to eat like several meals a day. You need good rest. You got to train. So they all had the same values as me. So it was very simple to, 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 to work with these types of people. But the thing is that now you're working in an, an environment in order to support yourself. And I don't know what your job is, but you're, you're supporting yourself outside the realm of your values. Otherwise, it, your job would support what your values are. So when I say quit your job, I'm dead ass serious. And if that means, you know, you, you, you miss some car payments or you have to back off the, 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 the iPhones or your expensive jeans or even if it's simple things like paying your rent, maybe you'll miss rent for, for a month or you'll be late or something like that. Th that shit really doesn't matter. Th that's like superficial bullshit compared to the fact that you're living from your core. You're still training every day. You feel good enough about yourself to go and do the things that you want to do. You're creative. You go and uh, whatever it is that you want to do. You want to paint pictures. You want to play the piano. You want to be a tattoo artist. It really doesn't freaking matter. The point is that you're doing the things that you want to do. That's why I love liberty and freedom so much because I want to do what I want to fucking do. I don't want to do what I have to do. Who, why, why would anybody want to do what they have to do? That's the dumbest thing in the world, especially when you're constantly suppressing the things that you want to do. And I guarantee you that when you start doing the things that you want to do, all the things that you need will be added to you. Choose your values first. Survival will take care of itself. 
But if you continue to live your life based on survival, and, and here's the thing too, people say that there, there are basically two motivating factors in life. There's fear and there's love. And you can really only proceed from one of them. I mean, if you remember the movie, The um, Bronx Tale, I think it was like about the, the Italian mafia in Brooklyn or something. One of the guys says, I think it's Johnny Red or Donnie Red or something. He tells the kid, look, is it better to be loved or to be feared? And that's the quintessential question. Are you proceeding from love or are you proceeding from fear? When you are sur trying to survive, when everything you're doing is based on survival, I have to, I must, you're living out of fear. But when you start proceeding from love, you're going to be doing the things that your heart tells you to do regardless of what your brain or fear is driving you to do. So quitting a job is pretty freaking easy when you're living from your creative being, when you're living out of love. If you have to get up every single day and you're, you're suppressing the things that make you who you are in order to pay your bills, then don't pay your fucking bills because you're going to die an animal. You're going to die a bill payer. You're going, to be die, you're going to die as a slave to everyone else and their expectations for you. You decide upon your values. You decide what you expect of yourself and you build your life around that, my friend. So I hope that's helpful for you. I don't want to hear about you being tired. That's your fucking fault. Quit the job. Talk to you next time. Yo, Elliot. Oh, <laughs>